Hello people of the earth and welcome to Quicksave TV. I am the illustrious nerd of the video gaming, the infamous troll of the seven forums and the relentless scourge of the interwebs. But you can also call me Mike. Today we're taking a look at the amazing Lone Survivor, a survival horror game by Jesper Byrne. Byrne? Byrne, I hope it is the correct word. Uh, we, I am actually going to erase my current game just for you because you matter to me so much and I'm going to talk about the game as such for about 10 minutes, show you some gameplay of it and try to help you decide whether or not you should buy it or just ignore it. So as we start playing the game, we just, you know, we select our name. I'm not going to select the name just for the specific playthrough. The game as such is... Mm, how to put it better? It's a survival horror in an isometric perspective from the side, right? We always see a lot around the character and it's very based on the dialogues. You know, there's no talks so much. It's kind of creepy, but it's easy to understand. And because of the way it tries to get your attention, it actually is potentially can be a very great game. So what happens is our character finds himself into the world, in a hostile world, where there's a lot of these monsters which look a lot like zombies, which try to eat other living humans, you know, and rotting flesh as well, they like it a lot. And he tries to find someone in this world, because he believes he's a lone survivor. The way the game develops, it seems a lot that, like the character is insane, but he doesn't quite lose his mind the same way the character of Amnesia did. The main character of this game, like you in this circumstance, right? He doesn't wear shoes, he tries to sneak around, trying to get his way around the place, he's trying to explore different objects. Like for example, look at armchair. It's just an armchair. Wow, nice. Look at the cup of coffee. Looks like a double espresso. Drink the coffee? Drink the coffee. I'll drink the coffee. Lovely. Oh yeah, that's what happens when you drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. I think I can hear something down there. That's so why he hears something down there, and we just go there. And it's kind of creepy when you play it the first time. You know, these kind of games are very creepy when you play them the first time. But as you understand how the game operates, it stops being all that creepy, and it becomes very, very interesting the way it works. What's going on here? There's this monster, right? Monster thing, like a zombie or whatnot. They're kind of skinny, kind of weird looking, but yeah. Damn, it's one of those things. I don't think he can see me. Wait, looks like there's a hiding spot just behind it. I'll see if I can sneak past. And so we use the hiding spot, we get inside it, and as we are inside it, we can safely move around. The gameplay will revolve around trying to avoid these things and actually trying to shoot them once we find the gun. So, it doesn't matter what you do with them, as long as you deal with them and try to, you know, try to get to the objective. I might as well go through. Talk to her. Or to it, whatever it is. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm telling you, he's losing it, but not in the same way the character of Amnesia is losing it. Are you okay? Anyway, I'm gonna spend forever reading the dialogues. I'm just gonna leave you a moment just to read the dialogues if you're focusing on it, and I'm just gonna continue talking about the game because it's not productive. Uh, the game revolves around finding supplies, exploring the areas, trying to save supplies in order to be able to last longer. Every time you feel your character is actually um, actively becoming hungry, actively wants to sleep more, and etc. etc. So as you progress in the game, he will ask you to do things like eat or sleep, you know, so he gets tired and he gets hungry. So you have to be wary of that. You have to pick up different stuff. All of this stuff is useful in this way or the other. In some circumstances, you will be able to listen to some things. You're just gonna read some clues and etc. In some circumstances, you will find useful objects such as map, such as flashlight batteries, such as food and etc. etc. There's also some pill, um, you know, pills in the game which you can like. If you eat it, you wanna feel sleep. You feel sleep, and your character will sleep better, right? I never used it. I cannot describe what it is. This review will be based on about one and a half hours of gameplay. You know, it was great, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. But the thing is, um, th there's no buts, right? If you can survive with this graphical design, you know what I'm saying? 
um, there's nothing really that will stop you from playing it. The controls are very simplistic, you don't use your mouse, you use only your keyboard. There's not too many things to use in the game. Uh, all of the things you need to use you will be able to find inside the uh, house on the wardrobe that's all written. You're just trying to find different supplies, you explore the world, hear the character's input on different things, and yeah, that's about it, there's nothing else to say really. So you try to find keys from doors, you try to find, ultimately, you try to find other survivors, that's all you're actually doing, and that's it. <laughs> you get, you try to get different types of food, you actually even try to cook food later on, and you... You just try to figure out how to survive, right? You're trying to get back to your apartment, to sleep a little bit. You t slowly explore the storyline, and the storyline is very much so confusing. It just seems that the character is else retarded, else absolutely insane. Absolutely nuts. It just You don't understand what the hell is happening. You don't understand whether it's all real or it's not, because it's so confusing. I personally think the character is nuts, and he's actually killing living people, but I have no idea. I never played through the whole game, it shouldn't be considered as a spoiler because it's just, you know, it's not reliable. Okay, we got the map of this, the level. So now, as you see, on the map, if we open it, if we open the map, here's the map, we have the whole outlook. If you pay attention, there's 201, 202, 203, 204, 205, 206, right? There's different markings also, there's open, locked, blocked, U, bed, special, and mirror. Mirror as such, a minor spoiler right here, Mirror is a teleportation device. As he looks in the mirror, he teleports to his flat. And will be used to quickly teleport back to the flat. As, as you uh, have figured out probably already, you have to sleep in order to rest. And by sleeping you actually save the game, so it's, it's, it's essential mechanic in the game. And, well, that's about it if you want really important mechanics. And there's, you know, there's, you find these letters and scraps of information about different characters and some of the characters even interact with you. But ultimately you want to, as a character, you want to get out of this place and you want to find other survivors. That's your ultimate goal. To do that, you will need to explore many, many weird places. You will need to avoid or kill these creatures, which can be really creepy at times. So you have to be really careful. Very, very important. I'm gonna go ahead and use some meat right here. Uh, meat, rolling meat. Place. By placing the rotten meat, we actually acquired the attention of this zombie creature. If you can see, it's it's very dim right there, but yeah, here's his moment to the meat. We're gonna get out and continue on our way. This way we actually evaded him. Easy peasy. Going inside this building. Inside this building there's another guy. We have no means to deal with them yet. We will in the future. We will be able in the future. And so that's about it. You try to save a flashlight. As you can see, I don't use it all that often because I just try to save up the battery. And we just explore different things. In some circumstances, you will not be able to see what the hell is happening in the specific area until you turn on the flashlight. So that's why you have to be careful. Also, an interesting mechanic I wanted to show you. Map. That's in light. That's how you see it. Now go ahead to the dark location. Hop. You don't see it all that well, do you? <laughs> it's very funny, actually. You know, it's not something important, but yeah. It's what it is. Because of the way game is designed, that you actually see all the enemies at all times, you know, when they're, when they're, you can see them to the left or to the right, unless it's very, very dark. It's not all that creepy. You know, it's creepy for the first time you're playing it, and in some circumstances it just feels very weird, but, you know, it's not that it's super creepy, you know. The hole. No, it's just my imagination. Yeah. What the hell is that? Enter the hole. Oh, here goes nothing. And here we go. In the hole. Because we have nothing else to do. Why don't we explore random holes? Nothing but gonna happen to us. Tra -ta -ta. Anyway, yeah. So that's what the game is about in a nutshell. I hope I didn't miss anything. So the story is like psychedelic kind of thing. It's all told you in this small... Oh my goodness, someone is chasing us. What is this shit? I have to run away. And the story is told us in small, in small bunches. We try to find other survivors. That's pretty much everything we do. The character seems to be else delusional, else really, 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 really insane. I have no idea yet. Is 
is he just you know is that his impressions of the situation is that really what's happening or he really is insane i do not know you will have to figure out if you play the game yourself my purpose my, my idea here is to present you the game to figure out if you like it or not so that's about it then yeah the controls are pretty straightforward i think it's a great game for what it is it's a great game because it's also made by one man it, it's it's pretty damn impressive we're using the mirror to teleport out of here and yes well that's about it i'm i hope it was fun enough to listen to because i really i don't prepare these things i just play the game and i just try to formulate my opinion on them i hope it was reasonably enjoyable now i'm gonna go ahead and sleep i've actually wasted my sale save just for you i hope it was worth it and yeah uh if you would like to pick up this game, you probably still... I'm not sure if you're still able to do that from the Humble Indie Bundle, but if you're not, you can still buy it from somewhere. From Steam, if I'm not mistaken, or from the original site of the author. Or just borrow it from a friend. Also a good idea just to try the game. It's a great game, you shouldn't miss it out. Especially if you're a fan of the horror genre. Which I am not, but I still really enjoy the game. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. It was Mike with you from Quicksave TV. I hope you enjoyed the video and my commentary. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel because it helps me immensely and I value your support very, very much. It means a lot for me, everything. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Have a greatest day and bye bye. How much oil do I have? Oh, no oil! Uh -huh. This is amazing! Congratulations, Mike, for wasting fucking oil to appeal this claim. Sounds legit. <laughs>